In this video, we're introducing the idea of a phase space diagram or a phase space plot for a simple harmonic oscillator. And a phase space plot is a velocity versus position plot. To figure out basically what the shape of this thing is going to be, I look at the total energy in the oscillator. So for any given position of the mass, x, I'm going to have spring energy, 1 half kx squared. And then whatever the speed is at that moment, v, it gives me kinetic energy, 1 half mv squared. And that adds up to the total energy. That number should be a constant as long as we're saying that friction is negligible for this oscillator. And then we'll think briefly about what the graph of velocity versus position should look like. So velocity versus position means we're treating v as our y variable here. And then x, conveniently enough, is our x variable. So I have both of these things squared, but they have different constants out in front. Now, if the constants out in front of those two squared quantities were the same, it would be a circle. Because the constants out in front are different, it's going to be an ellipse. So here's what the phase space plot looks like. And there it is, velocity versus position. And then to understand what we're looking at, it's helpful to label the maximum and minimum velocity and maximum and minimum position. So we were given in the problem all the specs on this oscillator and the maximum and minimum position are probably the easiest things to pick out. So I'm told I have an amplitude of 22 centimeters. That means the maximum value of x is going to be 0.22 meters. The minimum value of x is going to be negative 0.22 meters. And those happen when the velocity is zero. These are the turning points for the oscillator. So if I look on my plot, the vertical coordinate is v, and that vertical coordinate v is equal to zero when I hit my maximum positive position over here of plus 0.22 meters. v is equal to zero again when x reaches its maximum negative value, or I could call that the minimum value of negative 0.22 meters. Then when x is zero, so that's the horizontal coordinate, when x is zero, v is going to reach its maximum positive and negative values. Those are a little trickier to get. So what I'm going to do is say the total energy in the oscillator is 1 half Ka squared. That's just a convenient way of measuring the total energy. That's where x is equal to its maximum value, and there's no kinetic energy, so it's all spring potential. And that gives me a total energy of 0.242 joules. And then to find my maximum speed, I'm going to consider the moment where the mass is passing through the equilibrium position so that there's no spring potential energy. At that point, all the energy is kinetic, and I'll get my maximum speed. The mass of the oscillator was 0.315 kilograms, and I get a maximum speed of 1.24 meters per second. Up at the top of our ellipse, that velocity is positive. 1.24 meters per second, so the mass is moving to the right. At the bottom of the ellipse, that velocity is negative, but the speed is going to be the same value. So at that moment, the oscillator is moving to the left. Now, the last thing we want to figure out about this phase space plot is the directionality. And we can figure out by looking at some of these four points which way the system is actually evolving. So why don't I look at this one first? maximum positive value of x and you release this thing from rest well which way is it going to go it's going to fly back towards the equilibrium position which means velocities immediately become negative so it looks like we're tracking this way now just to verify that this is the correct direction on the phase space plot let's look at a few more points so by the time i get here to the bottom of this ellipse that's x equals zero. So this means that our oscillator is now passing through the equilibrium position headed to the left. So it has this negative maximum speed as it passes through the equilibrium position. It should then go to even more negative x values until it gets to the maximum negative x value. This is where our spring is going to be fully compressed and ready to shoot the mass back to the right. So at that maximum negative value of x, the spring is gonna push in the positive direction and accelerate the mass to the right, which is positive velocities, and that's what I see happening next as I go clockwise on this phase space plot. And then just to wrap things up, I get to a maximum positive velocity when I pass back through the equilibrium position, and then x is zero there. 
but I'm headed to the right, so the x values then become positive. So now I think we have a pretty complete picture of how a phase space plot is telling us about the oscillations of this spring and mass system. If you find the physics content on Zach's lab helpful, click on the Zach's lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.